Hello all, I am back with another video. Um, recently I feel like I've been talking a lot about how you can get better and what you can do and I recently watched some more videos about how people struggle more and how success stories sometimes just highlight the better parts of it and not necessarily dig deep into the hard parts of it all and what you're still struggling with even when you feel like you're succeeding or when you're doing better. So first things first, I guess even though sometimes I say that things are a lot better now, a lot better than it, they were years ago, honestly you still have to think about it all the time and kind of keep on top of this stuff and in the back of your mind you're still worrying a little bit about the next time something big is going to come up whether you're going to have another manic episode in the next few months in the next year or when you'll be depressed again so it's not gone even when you are thinking that you're doing well which sucks because bipolar disorder is a chronic thing and when people say that this is how they got over it. They aren't necessarily completely over everything. It's important to remember that because they figured out something and they're in a good place, but there's always, I think, the potential to backtrack a little bit and kind of go back into depression or mania. I feel like a prime example of this was me in high school i thought i was doing really well i was doing everything with school pretty well um especially by senior year it felt like i didn't have any major manic episodes and i wasn't depressed very often unless like i felt really bad about something that happened usually i associate like depression with bipolar as more of a it came out of nowhere sort of thing and i can't get out but um so yeah, high school was pretty okay, I think, and I thought the worst was over, like everything I had dealt with early in my life, I had figured out, I had figured out the medicines and stuff, and then I went to college, and everything kind of changed. The fall right after I graduated was honestly the worst that I have experienced, I think, you guys have probably heard a bunch of stories, I'm not gonna go that deep into it, but I was really manic and I couldn't get out and then afterwards I became super depressed and this was after I thought that everything was fine. So when you see those success stories, there's also you thinking to yourself like, oh I'm never gonna get there, how can they be so happy and figure out everything but I'm still struggling sort of thing and I think the truth is even when people look like they're doing super great on the outside like they've dealt with everything they're still dealing with things every day and it's not over for any of us and I think that's important to keep in mind I hadn't really thought about it like right now I would say I am doing pretty well compared to other parts of my life and that's why I've been, I guess, highlighting that a little because that's how I feel right now. But I'm sure like if I keep making these videos in a year or two, I will have a lot of, you'll be able to kind of tell that I have my moods and I'm not always so like stable let's say like I am fully expecting me to impulsively post something of me doing or saying something that I'll regret later and then I'm just gonna be like <laughs> but um yeah that was random but long story short don't take everyone else's success and kind of put yourself down saying why am I not there because 
everyone's still doing with their stuff. It's always an uphill battle, so do not fret. Um, just keep working on yourself and don't worry too much about what other people are doing or what they're not doing because everyone has their own journey and you just need to follow yours. I'll see you guys later.